All right, hi guys. Um, it's been a few days since I filmed anything. Um, so I, before it gets too late, um, I wanted to do my cloth diaper video. Um, so this is gonna be um, kind of all about cloth diapers um, from like price ranges to um, the kind we use, why we use them, um, different inserts you can buy or the ones that we at least have. Um, I will go over how we store our dirty diapers. Um, I will roughly go over our wash routine um, and do a few um, like wash tips also, um, just because it is def there's definitely a learning curve um, when you are starting cloth diapers. So, um, oh, I also, um, these right here are cloth wipes that I just got done making, um, so I will be going over those as well. Um, and kind of just give you know going over those roughly um so yeah, i will get started um i will start off with um the kinds of cloth diapers we use so we use one size pocket diapers and what that means is um which one is already open okay this one is open all right so the one size diapers, whether they're um, all-in-ones or um, the pockets like we use, they have a bunch of snaps on the front. So these two rows of snaps um, connect like this. So this bottom row would be for a newborn. I believe they start at like eight pounds at the lightest. Um, but I mean, honestly, you could make it work with a smaller baby if you needed to. Um, and then you adjust as you go up. Benson is on the second row of snaps right here. Um, so normally when I do his diapers, I... God, if it'll fucking snap, Jesus. So normally his diapers are snapped all the way across like that, with that row. And then all of these on the, um, the very top or along the waistband are to adjust the waist size. Um, I personally like the one size um, because they go from eight pounds <laughs> to 40 pounds. Um, so literally from birth for most babies to potty training. Um, and then what I mean when I say pocket is, and they all look a little bit different, but you stuff them from the top. So this is the back of the diaper. Baby's butt sits right here. You just stuff the liners in there. Um, and then you take them all out when you wash. So those are the kind we use. Um, I just find they're the most practical, um, especially um, if you're looking for like the most bang for your buck or you have multiple kids, like we're about to have a multiple. Um, because like I mentioned before, we are due in eight weeks with our second little boy. So um, now I will go over like the different brands that we have. Um, and kind of a rough price range for them all. So I will start off with like the cheapest. Um, the cheapest are going to be these, um, and these are actually, so they're actually buttoned right now. Um, but these are, I actually don't know how to pronounce this brand. Um, if you go onto walmart.com and you type in cloth diapers, a package of about six of these comes up for roughly like $15.99. I think that you can actually get a knockoff um, or the same brand on Amazon, I think they sell them, I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, it's a pack of six um, for around $15.99 or $16.99, something around that price range. Um, that is the cheapest that I have been able to find anywhere if you're looking for multiples, um, like a multi-pack of diapers. Um, that also works out to be the cheapest per diaper that I have found. Um, so, yeah, um, I first bought these ones back in um, back in January. I bought two sets of six. Um, so we started out with twelve, and then um, they do not come with liners though, which. A lot of cloth diaper brands do include a one or two liners. These do not. 
So, I mean, while yes, they're cheaper, you have to make up for that by buying liners on the side. Um, with the long, actually, I will get to that in a little bit. Actually, no, I'll get to it now. Um, these are the liners that I bought when I bought these. And I have pretty small hands. Um, here, I'll do a, a comparison. Um, so this is just like, it's, I guess it's a smaller TV remote. So like, that's how big they are. They're not very big. Um, and they're just cut, they're hundred percent cotton. Um, I mean, they're pretty thin, they're pretty absorbent. They're fairly soft. I don't really have any complaints other than, um, obviously, I mean, they're cheap. I think it was around, it was like a 10 pack for 10 bucks or something like that. Um, and you have to double and triple and you know quadruple up however many you end up needing for your kid you layer it up as you need it um so that's kind of a downside is because you you know it's really kind of a trial and error as far error as far as leaks go um which when we first started benson was around four months old four and a half months old um so they, we only had to use two at that point. Um, towards, uh, up until probably a month ago when we got a majority of our cloth diapers, we um, were having to give him three and four. Um, and so it, at, you know, for one diaper, layer him up, three or four for one diaper, um, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just a little bit less convenient um, as opposed to, you know, the thicker, more high quality liners that we have now. Um, so these ones, you can use them. They're not age specific, but because they're so thin, um, and because they're shorter than like a typical liner that you can buy. Um, for example, this is one of our other liners that fits Benson. So they're a little bit shorter, definitely thinner, um, and less wide. So we will be using these for um, our newborn liners. Um, and the reason why is because um, newborn liners don't have to be as long, obviously babies a lot smaller, but they also don't need to be as absorbent because babies pee a lot more, or a lot less more frequently, I guess you should say, I should say. So you're gonna be changing them more often as opposed to, you know, um, you know, uh, a one-year-old like Benson who pees more, we would need more absorbent, thicker liners. Um, so those are what I bought when I bought these. The only thing I will say, I have no other, I have no complaints about these. You know, they don't leak. They're fairly standard with quality. Um, again, they have the basic um, waist snaps, the two layer or two um, rows of the adjustable um, height snaps, you know. That I was talking about as far as you adjust um, based off a of weight or how old your baby is so um, the only downside I would say is that there seems to be a lack of um, what would I call it a lack of consistency quality wise and when I say that I mean um, so this one you can kind of see how the material looks. This is one of the original ones that we bought. A friend of ours recently bought us seven of these, um, which the ones off Walmart came in a pack of six. She bought seven of them in a package off of Amazon, which I thought was kind of weird. Why would they have different sizes as far as uh, like package deals? But whatever. Um, this It's the same brand that she bought. Um, but you can clearly see this is more felty. Um, let me see if I can hold them both up to the camera. So one is definitely more soft and like felty looking. It's also um, more transparent. Um, so yeah, a little bit of an inconsistency with quality. Um, but it's not, one doesn't work better than the other. So I wouldn't even say that one is, you know, sometimes they're good and sometimes they're shitty because that's not accurate. Um, also, what I thought was kind of interesting, when I bought them off of walmart.com, um, 
because I ordered two six packs, so two orders of six, um, they came at the same time, but one package of the six were swim diapers. So these are what swim diapers look like, um, which normally when you buy cloth diapers, they do not, um, they don't automatically come with swim diapers. You have, you, you buy swim diapers like separately. Um, so they will have the mesh liner, um, which is fine. We actually used, um, both the swim diapers and the other ones, um, daily, um, up until we got a majority of the stash that we have now. Um, the only, I mean, it doesn't, there's no difference as far as how, you know, they work. The only thing I would say is that um, the swim diapers wear down a lot faster. So between scrubbing and rinsing and washing, the mesh, if you're using them as daily diapers, will break down a lot faster than the, um, the, the fabric on the inside of regular diapers. Um, so that's the only thing that I would say. Um, but I mean, if, you know, if, if that's what you have and, and that's, that, that's what you can make work, then, you know, go for it. There's absolutely nothing that's, you know, there's no reason why you can't use swim diapers for regular diapers. Okay. So, um, and actually I will, well, it's going to be backwards, but I will spell it out. Q I A N Q U N U I is how you spell the brand. Um, but yeah, if you look up uh, walmart.com, it will come up. Um, Walmart does not sell like tr these types or any type other than pre-folds um, of cloth diapers in store. You have to order them online. Okay, so that is the cheapest one that we have. Um, next, I will go over some price or ones that have, um, I don't know what the prices are. So, uh, actually, okay. I will do these ones next. This is the brand Kawaii Baby. And I actually have two different um, types from them. Um, this is kind of confusing to the eye. Um, so these white ones with the Velcro, we actually got from a secondhand baby store. Um, they came in a package of three for... Um, I believe it was nine dollars or something like that um which you know i thought was great at the time where is my that's not it okay we'll just take one of these um which i thought was great at the time um i do not like these very much only because um they do not stay on as well as um, the snaps. So when you're looking at it, it still has the two rows of snaps to adjust for baby. So this is still a one size fits all diaper or fits, you know, obviously if you have a monster baby, it's not, may not fit yours the way it'll fit, you know, a baby of a different size, but um, they still have the, the, the adjustable height snaps, but they don't have the waist snaps. They have this line of Velcro, which this connects to like this. Um, I only use these at home. I don't take these outside of the house because Benson knows how to take them off. <laughs> um, and I have walked into the room to him playing in poop more times than I should have. <laughs> So I do not prefer these, but that, that they don't, there's no issue with how they work. You know, they absorb, they hold in liquid, all that jazz. Um, I just don't prefer them. So um, I try not to use them, but at the same time, I have to use them because I don't want my diapers to have super uneven amounts of wear. So I try to use them um, at the same rate as I use the other ones. I just only use them when I'm at the house. And we only have three of them. 
and they came with this insert, which if I could describe it, I would say it's similar to, it's kind of similar to a microfiber, but it's not quite microfiber. Or maybe it's just super rough microfiber. I actually don't freaking know. Um, it's a little bit, it's definitely thicker than the other liner that I have showed you so far. Um, as far as, as, as far as absorbency goes, Jesus, Marissa, get it out. Um, they hold up great as well as any of the other ones. I have no complaints absorbency wise. Um, so those came with that. Um, now this one is also a kawaii baby. We got this one secondhand off of Facebook marketplace. Um, and again, it has um, the two rows of the waist snaps, but then the snaps up here look a little bit different. Um, instead of, you know, it's, it has a different design on it, which they all have a little bit different of a design. Um, but yeah, it works the same. Um, the Kawaii Baby, I believe if I remember, is around between four to six dollars per diaper. Um, I believe they also offer um, um, like multi-packs or like deals if you buy multiples, but I can't quite remember. I had it all written down. I actually had a video recorded the other day, but I got interrupted. Um, and instead of having to edit and, you know, piece a bunch of pieces together, I thought I would just do, redo the whole thing. Um, so yeah, not, not crazy expensive. Um, Again, we got this second hand, which personally, that's the route I would go if you're looking to buy cloth diapers. I highly, highly, highly recommend buying second hand. When I say second hand, I mean off of, you know, Facebook yard sale pages or Facebook marketplace or um, there's even like Facebook um, buy and sell pages specifically for cloth diapers, um, which are super helpful. Um, you can buy and trade and, you know, whatever. Um, because, yeah, it's a lot cheaper that way than it is even if you are trying, you know, even if you are buying the super cheap ones that you get from Walmart.com, it's still cheaper to um, buy secondhand because you're going to need more than just the 12. Um, well, if, you know, it, it really depends on how much, how often you want to do laundry. Because, um, like, the 12 worked for us for a while. Um it just does not anymore <laughs> so yeah uh, and this one is actually fuzzy um can't really see that well but it's actually um textured um super cute little paw prints no complaints at all about that next um this brand is called babyland i tried to look them up i don't believe they sell them anymore um like online or um, well, yeah, pretty much any cloth diaper brand you're going to have to buy online. Um, a lot of stores don't typically sell them in store or anything like that. So, um, yeah, um, I tried to look it up. I couldn't find them on, on Amazon or anything. Um, so I don't believe that they are in business anymore. Um, so I could not get a price point on these. They're probably around the same price range, you know, four to six bucks per diaper. I don't know what kind of liners they come with. Um, normally, they're either cotton, bamboo, hemp, or uh, microfiber are the most common types of liners that you can get or that companies include with their diapers. Normally, they do include them, at least one. Um, so I'm sure they do come with a liner or did come with a liner at one point. Um, but again, it doesn't really matter because they're no longer in production as far as I know. So it's not like you can go out and buy them. Um, but yeah, super cute prints. Um, this is actually one of my favorite diapers. It's super cute. Um, yeah, again, it loads from the top. You know, you stick your, your liners in there. It all works about the same. Um, next, um, I'm going to go over... Happy Behinds. Now this is one of my least favorite freaking diapers, except for at nighttime. At nighttime, it's not so bad. But the reason why I do not like this diaper 
Um, and this is from Happy Behinds, um, which they're kind of a strange company. I'll get to that in a second. This is what's called a one size all in one. And what I mean when I say all in one is the liner is sewn in there. Um, so it's super fucking bulky and takes forever to dry. And I just don't prefer it. Um, except for at night. So this is like a nighttime only diaper. I would, 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 would not put this on Jacob, our new baby. I would only put this on Benson um, because it would just be way too bulky on a little tiny newborn baby body. Um, side note, they do make preemie sized cloth diapers. Um, I don't know where you can buy them, probably Amazon. Um, if you know, that's a very specific case. So if you are in need of premature diapers, you know, cloth diapers, uh, preemie diapers, or you're just curious, you can look that up for yourself. Um, anyway, the print is super cute. Um, the little dolphins. Again, it has the little adjustable snaps and then it has the waist snaps. All works about the same. Um, so yeah, this one, um, you can't put a liner into. It's completely sewn at the top because um, the liner is already in here but then this part is also super thick the part under the liner is also super thick um so it's just it's very very bulky very absorbent but very very bulky um not my favorite i do not do not like all in ones um we got this one second hand so i still use it of course um occasionally if i happen to grab it or if my husband happens to grab it but this is not the diaper that i will go for at, you know, first pick. Um, yeah, I don't know much else about all-in-one diapers because I don't use all-in-one diapers. Um, I was never planning to use all-in-one diapers, so no idea. Oh, Happy Behinds. So they do have a website. Their price range is anywhere from, I believe, again, I'm pretty sure four to nine dollars depending on you know what a print or what kind you're gonna buy so you know um yeah but they also on their website sell all the other brands they sell um alpha baby they sell bum genius they sell you know all the other ones that you can buy there's so many that i don't know the name of so i cannot get into that but um Oh, Kawaii Baby, they sell all those um, on there as well, um, which I thought was kind of interesting. I wonder if there's like a price difference as far as buying from the companies direct, the other companies directly versus buying those companies off of um, happybehinds.com. No idea. But they also make their own specific brand of diapers. So like if you were to buy a Bum Genius diaper off of happybehinds.com, it's not going to have the Happy Behinds label on it. It's just, it's going to be a regular Bum Genius diaper. Um, so yeah, kind of cool, kind of interesting and weird. I thought it was kind of weird. Next, I, um, these ones, okay, this one. I know nothing about this brand. Um, Laimala, L-A-I-M-A-L-A. -A -A. Um, yeah, I actually did not know this had a brand tag on it at first, so I did no research on it. Um, but yeah, works about the same, has the snaps, has the waist snaps, you know, you load it from the top. No issues, I use it with my son just as often as the other ones. Uh, no issues as far as absorbency goes. Um, let's see, this one. No freaking idea what brand this is. No idea. All I know is it was made in China. Um, Cause that's what the care tag says. But yeah, super cute little print. Super, super cute. Um, works the same absorbency wise. It's great. It's fantastic. Um, Next we have the Alpha Baby. Alpha Baby is probably one of my favorite brands that we have just because they offer so so many cute prints so many cute prints um and they're decently cheap anywhere from actually i'm pretty sure their um their solid colors are anywhere from are they like five dollars a piece or four something a piece um 
and then the prints like this um, are anywhere from five like high fives to tens depending on what you know what print you get and how fancy and all that jazz um, um, yeah there's no all, all of these work the same guys so I'm not gonna keep saying oh they work fine because they all work the fucking same um, but yeah super cute print has little raindrops we have so so many different prints um, so many it's almost annoying um, so yeah Alba Baby is probably one of my favorites just because of how cute all the little prints are um, so yeah no complaints there and finally for the types that we have um, we have Floki Floki knock it off dude Sorry, my dumbass dog. Uh, <laughs> Bum Genius. Bum Genius, I will say, like, um, with the quality, with how they're made, they are the best by far. Um, I don't necessarily know if they are my favorite, um, just because they have a slight crinkle to them that I don't think I like, but that's just a sound that I don't like. Um, they work great no complaints about how they work my only complaint is when you buy them new um they are twenty dollars or more per diaper poor per 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 diaper um, which is ridiculous to me i would never buy these brand fucking new because i am thrifty and i cannot justify spending twenty dollars for one stupid diaper I also don't believe Bum Genius has printed diapers. I believe they only have colors, which we have a variety of colors for Bum Genius. Here's another one that's white. Um, there's, there's a bunch. Um, but, um, I mean, yeah, they definitely are the most put um, most high quality um, of the other diapers we have. I don't know if there's brands that are more expensive than Bum Genius. I'm sure there are. Um, but I have not look, looked into it. Again, we got this one secondhand. It was in a huge, huge stash that we got secondhand. So, um, yeah. And then the Bum Genius actually come with two diapers. Um, at least these ones do. These ones are the 5.0s, five, 5 I believe. Um, so the Bum Genius come with this super, super long diaper um, or liner. And then it has snappies. So you take this top snap and you can adjust it for, you know, what size baby you have. So you can make it a considerable amount shorter or you can make it a little shorter just depending on what stage your baby is at with the diaper. This will come with that. Um, and it's super absorbent. Um, and then it also comes with this. And this is a microfiber. Um, this is what's considered a newborn insert, specifically for newborns. So when you look at the size difference, um, that is considerably smaller. Um, not necessarily for width, it's actually about the same width, but length is a lot smaller. It's also a lot thinner. Um, so they will come with both of those, um, at least for the 5.0s. Don't really know much about the other ones because I've never bought them used. I mean, I've never bought them new, I only buy them used. Floki, stop. Of course that dog wants to make so much noise right fucking now. Um, so yeah, those are for the bum genius. I'm sorry, the dogs are driving me nuts. Um, next I will move on to the liners that we have. So I have showed you a couple different types of liners. Um, the other ones that we have are um, this, which I don't really know what I would call this um, material. Um, it almost reminds me of a, of a flannel-y type um, material. Um, it's pretty thick, um, pretty dense feeling. Um, yeah, super absorbent. I don't know what brand this is or where you can buy it. Probably, you can probably buy something similar on Amazon. We got this one used in our huge cloth diaper lock. Next, we have these long ones. Um, this 
is like the same type of material as a baby washcloth is what I would describe it as or like a thin baby uh, bath towel but it, it is extremely thick um, in comparison to some other liners um, so it is not a thin liner per se um, it absorbs a lot 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 of liquid um, but it is extremely long so these will not be used for Jacob up, um, at least until he is older. Those are only Benson's. Um, and then the last is, uh, well, last two. So these are a charcoal bamboo liner. Um, this is the brand Naturally Nature. Actually, I don't know if that's like a whole brand in itself. I really don't know much about it. We got these used. So really don't know, um, but I'm assuming that's what the, you know, that's, it's its own brand, um, or else it wouldn't have a brand tag on there. But yeah, um, these I love, but what I do not love is they take a little bit longer to dry. So sometimes I will have to throw these in by themselves for a little bit longer than the rest of the diapers and the liners because they just aren't completely dry. Next, these ones I don't know the brand of. They are similar to the ones I just showed you, but they have more of a microfibery feel. So maybe I would say these are microfiber, um, microfiber charcoal, maybe. Um, yeah, um, super super thick, super absorbent, no complaints. Um, about liners before I move on. Um, Microfiber liners. If you are using the um, pocket diapers, like I am, or you know, um, well, yeah, if you are using a pocket diaper where the liner is not touching the baby's skin directly, it does not matter um, whether you use microfiber or you know, any other material. Some diapers, um, I'll just use this one as an example. Some diapers, um, this center piece right here will be hollow. Um, so instead of filling it from the top, you fill it from the middle and you just kind of stuff it. If you're using that kind of diaper, Floki, lay down, dude. Lay down. Um, if you're using, sorry, if you're using that kind of diaper um, where, you know, the inside of the shell is exposed to where the liner will be touching the baby skin. Microfiber cannot be the top liner. So if you're only using one liner for your baby, you're gonna have to choose a different liner for those diapers than microfiber. The reason being is microfiber is extremely absorbent and will actually pull moisture from the baby's skin. So if you are doubling up on liners, then just put the microfiber on the bottom, it'll be fine. But it cannot touch baby skin directly, which I did not know that at first. That's not something we had to deal with, but you know, Floki. Last warning, dude. Um, so yeah, those are liners. Uh, I'm gonna dive. Floki. Try me again. Okay, so now I will go over how I store dirty diapers. This is my dirty diaper pail. I got this for, I believe, $3 at Ross. Works fantastic. It is just a regular trash can waste basket. I fill it with a wet bag, specifically for cloth diapers. Um, and this just gets washed with your cloth diapers in the wash, turn it inside out and just wash it. Um, you know, you don't have to even rinse it out. And this is, um, this one specifically is from Alba Baby. Don't know how much it is, I have no idea. Um, there's actually a little pouch on here, which I have never seen up until now. So I wonder if it has like a second little, that is so cool. So this one actually has two containers or two compartments. So it has that top one and then it has this second little zippered pouch, um, which I guess would be um, actually, um, I guess clothes and diapers if you wanted to separate those, you know. Um, so 
So what I do is adjust this a little bit. Okay, so I bring it like this to where it is completely around the trash can. And then it has these um, super st stretchy uh, like drawstring almost, of course, the other ones in here. So I will bring these both around like so, and I will actually tie it. Um, I don't know if you can see, you will see in a second. So I actually tie it like that, so that way it is secure on the bin. Um, and yeah, that is just what I do. And then I just, um, when I have a dirty diaper, um, poop goes in the toilet. And then I, um, I wring them out, rinse them out, um, take the liners out of the pockets, you know, rinse them, wring them separately, and then I throw them in there. Some people do not pre-rinse their diapers. I do just because I feel like it gets them more clean and it really doesn't take that much of my time. So that is how I store my dirty diapers. I also have these other sized wet bags, um, which I just wanted to show you. Um, I don't know what brand this is, it doesn't have a brand name on here, but I can see at least. But I have this one, it has little skulls on it, um, again it has the two, two different pouches which is super, super convenient. Um, you can use these for legit anything that gets dirty when you're out and about with baby. It doesn't have to be a dirty diaper. Um, so that one is definitely a lot smaller, that's smaller than the one that I use for the trash can. And then this one is absolutely massive. Um, this could honestly fit all of our diapers. Um, and we have 80 diapers. So if I wanted to, I could probably honestly fit them all in here. And this one is actually a drawstring. Um, so yeah, a little bit different. Um, next, I will go over uh, the wipes that I just got done making. So basically what I did was I went to Walmart and I got some of their, um, they have like five yards pre-measured uh, out that um, you can get for five dollars. So I kind of picked through the fabric. I chose this, it's 100% polyester. It's super, super soft, which I thought would be really nice. It's, it's almost feels like a washcloth, which I could honestly use it for either. So I got two of, so five yards times two, I got 10 yards. I promise you, I know what five times two is. I was just wording it weird because I'm tired. Um, and then I just use a sewing machine. I cut them roughly six and a half by six and a half. And when I say roughly, I mean the edges aren't perfect. Um, They're not perfectly square. Um, also, I wanted to use as much of the fabric as possible. So some of them are a bit bigger than the others, but they are gonna be wiping butts. So um, I really don't care. Um, and then I will show you kind of just like the stitches, like it's just not, it's not straight. It's not perfect or pretty, you know, I wasn't trying to make it like that at all. I am going for functionality. So I actually, out of the, out of the 10 yards, um, I made around 220 wipes, which for two babies should be plenty. Um, so yeah, um, and then I also, um, so 220 double-sided wipes. So there's, you know, there's two layers um, sewn together. So if I had just done single layer, which I would not recommend because the fabric is too flimsy and thin, that would be, um, you know, 440 or more, depending. And then I just stored it kind of in this little basket that we got for my, or with my son's birthday presents. Um, go away. So this is what I keep my solution in. Um, what it is, this is just a cheap, like $1 uh, bottle from, 32 ounce spray bottle from Walmart. Nothing fancy at all. So what I use for the solution is, um, hot water. I, um, it has to be distilled. So you can either buy it distilled or you can boil it yourself. Um, it, it gets all the germs and impurities out of it. Um, and will make them fresh and safe for baby. So, um, originally, um, I started off with, I believe, 
three cups of water to like two tablespoons of coconut oil, um, a tablespoon and a half or two tablespoons of um, Castile soap, which is like an, um, an all natural like multi-purpose soap. You can use Dr. Bronner's or you can use, um, I use Walmart brand just because it is the same stuff. I made sure and the ingredients that it was the same or, you know, um, as close to the same as possible. Um, I get the lavender scented just because I like the way it smells. And then I also used to put um, lavender essential oil, but I stopped buying that just because uh, we were a little bit tight on money and it was unnecessary. So, um, Floki, stop. Um, but you can you can get the unscented um, dark, or Castile soap and then use whatever is that essential oil you want. You cannot use essential oil. That's really up to you. It, I mean, you know, lavender is calming, so it helps for bedtime. Um, yeah, the coconut oil is good for baby skin, keeps it moisturized. Um, so yeah, and then you just you heat the water or you know you use your distilled water that's already um, been purified. And then you add your coconut oil and your soap and your essential oil, whatever you're gonna put in there. Mix it all up until it is, uh, until it turns like, you know, like a milky white color. That's how you know that it's all combined. And then, um, yeah. So with these, I will just spray as I go. Before, th before these, before I made these cloth wipes, we actually um, made our own wipes. So what I would do is I would get a um, Bounty brand, like the super, super huge like the biggest size paper towel they make this thing was like that big like around i'm not even kidding and we would cut it in half hamburger style so this way we would cut it in half you know standing up on a table we would cut it in half like this and then i would take half of that i would put it in an airtight container i would pour the solution over it take out the cardboard insert in the middle and it perfectly unravels from the top um, those worked great. They were fantastic. Um, you have to use Bounty brand. Any other brand of paper towel will disintegrate in the liquid and will not hold up. And that is gross <laughs> and a waste of money and frustrating. So it has to be Bounty. Don't cheap out. Um, now, um, what was I going to say? Oh, I have absolutely no complaints about those, uh, the wipes that I just described, making those. I love doing that. Um, worked great, um, helped with rashes, which my Benson doesn't even, the only time he gets rashes, um, like diaper rashes are during when he's teething. Um, and that is like directly related to teething. And, you know, he has no diaper rashes other than that. Um, but um, it is, you go through a lot of paper towels. Um, and I, in, in the, you know, aspect of being is, uh, cheap as possible to help my husband out because I'm a stay-at-home mom and we are now on one, one income or we have been since we had my son so for the last year and we just have had some financial struggles so I try to make it as helpful as possible um, and cost free as possible or you know cost effective as possible um, so that's why I switched to cloth wipes also because I'm already doing the laundry anyway um, so I might as well but also because you know we we go through the we went through the paper towel wipes super fast with just one kid but you know now, now that we're now that we're about to have another one it just but we would go through them too fast with two so um that is the only reason why we switched um yeah the, the cloth wipes are super simple to make i chose to make my own you can buy cloth wipes if you want like pre-made um I'm just a lot cheaper than that. Also, um, I'm nesting right now, so it gave me like a project to do. So, um, that is that. Now, um, oh, and those can just be washed with the cloth diapers. So throw those in. Speaking of washing cloth diapers, we are going to go. Oh God. Oh, we're gonna go and I'm gonna show you kind of a rough, um, example of how I wash cloth diapers. Okay, so here we are in my garage. So what I do, and I mentioned um, earlier that I already pre-rinsed my diapers. Um, so I throw them all in, throw them all in. 
Um, we use Sun brand uh, laundry detergent. So I make sure that I wash diapers about every 15 to 20 diapers or so. After 15 to 20 diapers, I feel like they don't get as clean. Um, and they just, you know, I just feel like it's, you know, inefficient. So I, um, I do 15 to 20 diapers at a time, um, plus the wipes now. Um, so I do two wash cycles and one dry cycle. The first wash cycle um, is going to be two capfuls or two and a half capfuls now that I have more cloth diapers and I'm doing more at one time um, of detergent. Then I do a splash of multi-purpose multi cleaner, which I just buy. Um, the great value multi-purpose lavender scent um i just feel like it helps them get a little bit cleaner um a tiny tiny bit is all you truly need it is extremely extremely um concentrated so throw that all in there um i also use a half cup of baking soda just plain baking soda um turn my washer on for me, for the first cycle, what I do is whites, heavy duty, and then I do the hottest temperature, the highest swale level. I do high skin speed. I do a pre-soak and I do an extra rinse. That brings my, my first wash cycle to about an hour and 32 minutes. Once that's done, then I do uh, two and a half to three more capfuls of detergent. Yes, I know it seems like a lot, of, a lot of detergent, but you truly need it because you're dealing with human waste. Um, even though it's, you know, the poop isn't going directly into the into the washer and I rinse my, not my, rinse my diapers out. So like the pee isn't directly going in there. Um, it needs more than just a regular, regular load of laundry. And this sun detergent is safe for cloth diapers and it is so, so cheap. So, so cheap. If you are in the California area and you live next to a Foods Co., um, which also carries Kroger brand if you don't live in California. So maybe Kroger also has the same price points. Um, it is normally for, let's see, for 117 medium loads, it is like $4.99 for a huge jug. And I use the yellow, which is, um, what scent is it? The original fresh. Uh, triple clean with oxy looks great and then so i do that um i throw i throw in sorry <laughs> you guys i throw in the um so my fucking dogs don't listen and do not behave when i leave the room Ugh. um baking soda. I do another half cup of baking soda, just pour it right in there. And that boosts the, um, boosts the laundry, you know, makes them fresher, brights whiter, you know, <laughs> brights whiter, whites brighter. Oh Lord, I'm tired. And then I also do a fabric softener. So for a load, I will do, um, almost a cap full, um, for a little cloth diapers. I'm maybe like three quarter, half to a three quarter full of the cap of fabric softener. Let that go. Um, then I, so that I put it on the longest cycle I can possibly do with my washer. Um, so I do the bedding bulky cycle on heavy duty, hottest temperature, high soil level, high spin speed with a pre-soak and an extra rinse. And that brings me to an hour and 53 minutes. Because everybody has different washers and dryers, you are going to have to figure out what those, um, what those cycles do for, you know, how those are gonna be for your washer. Um, obviously it's not going to be the same settings and same stuff as that's on my washer. Um, it's also trial and error. So, you know, you might feel like your kid needs a little bit less washing, um, or needs a little bit more. So, you know, you adjust it for that. Also, I will add that, um, newborns do not need like newborn pee, um, and diapers do not need, um, as much cleaning, um, or it's not so heavy duty as when they start solids. So, also, um, if, if, if your baby is hundred percent breastfed, um, 
their poop can go directly into the washer. I still am going to rinse Jacob's because that grosses me out. Um, but yeah, breastfed poop is water soluble and that means they are 100% breastfed and they have not started solids yet. So up until six months or whenever you start any solids, if your baby is 100% breastfed, you can just throw them in there. I would still recommend um, rinsing them out first. Then for the uh, dry cycle, let me turn this off. Um, for the dry cycle, I put them on cottons. I put them on heavy duty. Um, sometimes I will put them on like the second to hottest setting just because um, heat and then like heat in the dry cycle can be kind of damaging sometimes. So it really just depends. Um, and then just more dryness or like the most dry. So it'll get them, get them the most dry that it can. Um, but yeah, and then I just let it go and that's how it does that. Um, so yeah, um, one thing I will say, one last thing before I go is that, um, Oh, sorry guys. Really, really harsh lighting. Okay, I'm actually just gonna leave the garage. <laughs> um, one thing that I will say is that um, if your diapers are not getting clean enough, they will smell like ammonia, not when they're dry. So, you know, you take your diapers out of the dryer, they don't smell like anything, or you know, they smell like whatever fabric softener you're using. Then, you know, you put them on your baby, your baby baby pees, all of a sudden it smells like ammonia. Well, that means that the, the urine, the urea, um, from your previous wash cycle is not getting cleaned out all the way. So that means you need to um, adjust your wash routine from there. Um, that can also, things like having hard water um, can also affect that. Um, so yeah, um, and then there's also a, um, an issue with poop sometimes. It can smell like your diapers can smell like a barnyard, I've heard people describe. I have not experienced that, but I did experience the uh, ammonia and it is horrible, 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 horrible. And you do want to get that figured out as soon as possible because if you do not, it'll cause chemical burns on your baby's booty and that is not good. Also, it smells and it's just gross and nobody wants to deal with that. So. Um, let's see. Cleaning, I'm trying to think of if I miss anything. Ooh, ooh, Lord, 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 Lord. I am so sorry. It fell out of my hand. Um, yeah, that is basically it. Um, unless I think of something else. Um, Yeah, I can't really think of anything else. Um, so yeah, that is um, kind of all of our cloth diapering stuff um, combined. It's gonna be kind of a long video, I apologize. Um, but I just wanted to kind of get it out of the way. Um, we store our cloth diapers in a little, um, kind of like a cloth, organizer that is from the munchkin brand i don't know how much it is when you buy it brand new we go to a facebook marketplace like we get literally everything that we own um i got it for five bucks it's, i mean you can organize them however you want it could be one of those like hanging closet organizers you can have like a full dresser for them um we needed something more than just a little basket because we have 80 cloth diapers and like probably 200 inserts combined. And then now we have, you know, all of our cloth wipes. So, all right guys, well, that is it for that video. I'm not sure when this will be uploaded. Um, and hopefully there will not be such a long gap between videos next time. All right guys, see you next time. Thanks. Uh, one more thing before I um, edit this video and hopefully upload it tonight. Um, I forgot to mention uh, stripping your diapers. So all cloth diapers need to be stripped at some point or another. Um, usually it's every three or four months. Um, 
there are different ways to strip your diapers. Um, some people use, they soak them in peroxide. Um, some people use bleach. Um, we do not use bleach. We all get really bad skin rashes from it in the house, so we don't use that. Um, also, um, I try to be as natural as possible when it comes to chemicals. So I try not to add anything that is super, super harsh. Obviously, you know, certain things I still use just because uh, convenience and like price point range until we find um, a natural option that we can afford. Um, oh Lord, I'm having glasses, ma'am. Um, so, um, what I personally do to strip my diapers is I run them for about an hour on the hottest um, that my washer will go, and I only use baking soda about a cup to a cup and a half of baking soda, and that seems to do the trick for me. The reason behind stripping is. Um, it could, I will, m most of the time it's, um, most of the time, especially with people that are just starting out with cloth diapers, you know, you don't know exactly how to clean cloth diapers starting out. So it's a learning curve for sure. But until you do figure it out, there's a lot of bacteria that isn't getting washed out of your diapers every cycle. So that needs to be stripped out. Also, you know, um, detergents and fiber softeners and whatever else you're using in your wash, needs to be stripped out because that can build up on the, the diapers and the liners. Um, and you know, if you're doing cloth wipes, the wipes themselves also, and it can make them less absorbent and not work as well. So every, every single diaper needs to be um, stripped every three to four months, no matter how great of a wash routine you think you may have, um, it is something that you will need to do. Um, and it's a, yeah, so I, I almost forgot to mention it. <laughs> um, so, all right, I believe that is that. All right, see you guys next time.